Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel DevOps with Cloud. In this video, let's see how you can uh, create a Docker images and uh, push it to your private repository in Google Cloud. That is called as a Google Container Registry. So let's see how you can uh, do all these steps in this video, okay? Uh, before that, if you like my videos and all, do subscribe to my channel and please share to your friends so that you'll be getting the latest updates from my channel. Yeah, so coming to the today's topic, like uh, we all know Docker images and all which are used to create some containers, right? So uh, if you, are, you, if you are working in an organization, you can't keep all your images in a public repository. What I mean by that, uh, for example, if you're using Docker, uh, let me show that. Uh, if you know Docker, and if you uh, build an images, and if you're trying to push the images, the by default, you'll be uh, pushing the images to hub.docker.com, where your images will be uh, into the public repositories, okay? So everyone can access those, but that's not the case when you're working in the real-time industry, right? So you need to keep your images very secure so that only the applications that are inside your project can only be accessing those, okay? In that case, what is what are the solutions that is Google providing from a Google, Google Cloud perspective? If you see, GCR is one among them, where GCR stands for Google Container Registry, where uh, you can store all your private private images in Google Cloud. Okay, so in this video, let I will show you how you can create a Docker image and push that to the uh, your private repository in Google. So for that, uh, let me show the console of that. Yeah, I have already created a project inside of Google Cloud. Okay, so if you search for uh, GCR, which stands for Google Container Registry, and if you go to that particular section, uh, if you the first time using GCR, you'll be asking to enable the APIs. After that, you'll be you will be showing this particular page. Okay. If you see, as of now, there are no images in my repository, and if you see, it's provide uh, GCR provides secure private Docker repository storage on GCP. Okay. So if I, even if I refresh now, there are no images. So what I'll be showing is, um, if you see, yeah, there is a Python application in my local machine. Okay. And if you see, I'm presently in my local machine and this is a Python application and I'm having a Docker file. If I cat that file, you can see it's just a, a Python repository where I, it is building based upon my uh, source code. Okay, and after that, it will be moving the respective, installing all the flask and all. And after that, it will be copy the source code to the slash opt folder inside the container when this image is being moved, uh, moved as a container. So now, so what are the steps that I can, uh, be taking in order to push this source code into the private repository. So ideally, if you see, uh, leave up a GCR for a minute. I will show. I will tell you what are the steps that are required in order to push, create an image and push to a repository. For example, you are having a source code, and that source code needs to be built as an image. Okay, and from here, this is a build process, and from here, this build this image needs to be pushed to a repository. Okay, so the commands that are required for that is, if you are using a Docker Docker as a container runtime, you can use Docker hi, build hyphen t your repo name, okay, for colon your tag name, and uh, you will be uh, specifying the path where you can have your Docker file and all. If you are having a, if you are, uh, for example, if you, as we are already having a. A rep, uh, username and all you need to create a repository as per your username standards and all i will show you that uh, for example let me build uh, for example uh, it's docker build hyphen t and uh, for, if you if you if you are having a account in hub.docker.com you will be giving your repo name i mean username for example my username is uh, devops with cloud hub slash and I want to give my repo name, which I want to uh, create this image as. For example, as is a Python image, I'm giving as Python image, colon, your tag name. Let's say like V1 or V2, where your company follows the specific standards, you can give that as a tag name, okay? This is the general uh, process of creating an image, okay? Let's assume it's V1. I'm not building this image because we are trying to build and push it to a GCR, right? Rather than the public repositories. So I'm not trying to build that. Other than that, I, what I will do is I will try to build it and push it into the uh, GCR. Okay, for that, what I need to do is I need to maintain specific standards for that, where Docker build hyphen t will be common. Instead of that, you should be mentioning as gcr.io, which stands for Google Container Registry slash your project ID. Okay, slash. You know, what, what are the repository name that you want to keep it? In my case, Python hyphen image, 
call and tag name okay this was the format that you need to uh, uh, create this is the syntactic format that you need to create in order to uh, make your image ready so if you see what are the parameters that are required gc.io is fine i need to get the project id right so from where do i get the project id this project id you need to get it from the google cloud platform there are multiple ways you can get the project id i'll be showing those uh, if you see uh, once you log into your console uh, in the drop down section you will be having all your projects there and you will be finding your id here you can copy from here or else uh, you can get it from g cloud also g cloud projects list this will be giving your uh, list of projects available and from here also you will be getting the project id okay so why i am getting from my local machine is that because i already installed sdk in my local machine and i have authenticated myself to the google cloud platform that's the reason i was able to execute all the g cloud commands from my local machine itself okay if you are having any issues uh, connecting to the g cloud commands using your local machine then you can directly use the cloud shell that is available in the google cloud platform or else you can directly uh, as i shown you you can directly go to the drop down section and get the project id okay so now let me build that docker before that let me show you the docker images available in my machine okay if you see there are few repositories as i told and these are the tags that are present and i have only few few images and these are for the kubernetes pods running and uh, if you see there are no not much repositories in my uh, local machine okay let me build docker build hyphen t as i told gcr.io slash i need to give the project id this was my project id slash i'll be giving the, giving this as pro, python image colon this was a uh, various images i mean it was just a python image right let, let me give you the tag name as blue okay and i will be specifying the dot indicates that uh, in this path i am having a docker file okay let me keep enter for that okay uh, it will take around uh, for the first time if you are building that it will take around 5 minutes to download all the pythons and uh, to install the flask and to update the python pack repositories and all but the layers that are present uh, for that docker images are already been existing in my machine so that's the reason it took around 12.7 seconds, seconds only but if you are trying to execute uh, the same build in your machine it might take, it might differ around 5 minutes or so okay so now if i clear the screen and execute docker images if you see the repository is this one right the repository and i was having still the tag now if i go to the repository and refresh that what was the output like will my images be getting here or it will not be let let's check that refresh there are no images right because we are just built we just built the image we haven't pushed that image to my registry right so what's the command for that docker push and your repository name call your tag name my tag name is blue and i will execute that it was trying to push this image into my repository here if i refresh here once this uh, this process was completed i will be getting my images over here okay let's wait for a minute or so okay so this is important because uh, in your real time organizations and all you won't be using your public repositories either you will be using if you if you're completely into google cloud you will be using gcr or you can use jfrog repositories also or else you can use nexus repository or any sort of docker repositories where you can have your private images stored rather than the public images and all okay let's see do size yeah if you see the python image got executed and this gcr.io is the host name and if you see the visibility of that is private and if i go inside that i'll be seeing the various tags that are available as uh, this was the repository name and blue is the tag if i if i want to build a, some other tag and i want to push it it's the same for example let me show you that uh, i'll keep it as green and i will build the same image okay and i can push the same image like the steps that we did before docker push and the tag name i should be giving as green so in your projects and all in real time industries like real time when we do projects you'll be having multiple tags basing upon the architectural architectural design of your project okay some will be having your uh, release name as your tag name some will be having a dev prod or non prod or stage or something like that and these tags 
differ from one project to other project okay so don't be in a confusion like uh, uh, i have used it the same uh, previously i used to have a release tag in my project but that, that that's not the case here okay that that differs with your project architectural changes and all okay now i build that and uh, let me push that it won't be take much time because already the layers are already existing in my machine as well as the repository as well and if i refresh here i can see one more tag the same see if because the digest value is the same there are uh, the same tags are been i mean the digest value is the same right so that's the reason there are no more changes in the docker file or in the source code repository that's the reason it was showing all the tags in the similar path okay so this is just the simple path simple steps right uh, just create your build uh, using docker build and all where it creates a image and from there you can push it to the gcr for that you need to have a syntactical format like gcr.io okay and followed by your project id followed by your repo repository name and call on your tag name okay so that's it guys just want to show you how you can create a docker images and push it to your public repositories inside google called as a google cloud registry so i'll uh, that's it for now and see you again in the next video and one thing if you are uh, liking my videos do subscribe and share to your friends and try to, uh, if you like my videos give a like button click on the like button that gives me some motivation to do the more more, more videos on the various technologies yeah see you again in the next video bye for now